Welcome, everyone. We've been welcoming people on the way, but a big, warm, bellied, spirited welcome again to um, Moving Fearlessly chat number. Oops, I always forget the number. 20, 23. We've had 23 <coughs> amazingly rich chats. Uh, it's been such an honour and a privilege. And this morning is, uh, you know, no different Um but we'll introduce you to our speaker or our beer, our presenter is soon. I, I think we all know. I don't know if I need to. Everyone's been on a chat, so I don't think we need to introduce. There's a history to this collaboration between Fearless Communicators, uh, who's Deb, Deb is representing, and myself. My uh, company name is Moving Communication. We come together through, um, you know, a focus on giving voice um, in a very holistic sense uh, to our thoughts and our feelings and our spirit through our body to really uh, affect, oh, my goodness, I see this person coming on screen that I haven't seen for a long time. That's very exciting. Um, uh, yeah, through how we speak and connect and what we do in the world. And uh, we want to support as many women and men uh, to do that. Uh, so now, oh, acknowledgement. I'd love to acknowledge country. Uh, that is always um, our beginning, just to say that I am here uh, on Gadigal land and I want to pay my respects to and acknowledge the, you know, really the ancient and continuing um, owners of the land that I'm standing on. The Gadigal people are, are uh, part of the uh, uh, Eora Nation, and really for countless generations. And I really think it's worth um, acknowledging that and being present to that, how long the Gadigal have cared for, for the land around me. Um, for, you know, tens of thousands of years they've cared for this land. And when the British invaders uh, arrived in 1788, the Gadigal didn't cede their country to the British crown. Um, and, and like all First Peoples of this land, they have never done so. And this is and always will be Aboriginal land. So I'm going to acknowledge the past, present, future elders and leaders of this land. And if you'd like to, um, if you know the uh, traditional owners of your land, feel free to share that in the um, the chat, it's always wonderful to hear. And or yes, we'll just hear that because we want to move into action. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and maybe Deb, did you want to try? Oh, oh uh, there's Tay Atiawa. Is that right, Tay Atiawa from um, New Zealand and Turrbal? And Deb is uh, Kalinago Carb Land. Is that close? Pretty good. Darawal land and acknowledge the Uluru statement from the heart. Yes. Ah, confluence of lands. That's important, isn't it, to recognize that? Mm, the Gandagara, woof, Darag, Wulad. Oh, I can't say that one. Wul, Wulrudri? Rudri. Rudri, thank you. Gadigal, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, and what else do I need to do here, Deb? I think connect. Let's Did you connect. want to? Let's connect. Let's so, connect. yeah, go for it, Deb. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us for this really beautiful chat that we're going to have today. It's going to be a mix of mm. beautiful sounds, some beautiful learning from our guest is, and and we're going to dive into a meditation. But as a way for us to land into our Moving Fearlessly community, seeing as today we are going to be connecting through sound, we're going to begin by connecting through sound and we're just going to popcorn the sound around. So I'm going to call out somebody's name and I'm just going to send them a sound that they're going to receive. They're going to call out somebody else's name and send a sound. So it's just a popcorn around so that everyone will be acknowledged and everyone will receive a sound that has been gifted by somebody else in the community. So at this point, 
you can take yourself off mute so we can get ready to popcorn because this is going to be fast, <laughs> fun. And are we ready to rock and roll? I'm calling on my friend Jen Barkman. I'm calling on Claire from across the, the, the seas. I'm calling on Paula. I'm calling on, is it fellow Sis from the mountains? I'm calling on Tiff. <laughs> I'm calling on Is. I'm calling <laughs> on you. Oh. <laughs> I'm calling on Marianne. Whee! <laughs> um, I'm calling on Deb. La 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 la. Hmm. I'm calling on Diana. I'm calling on Leslie. Who oh, is there more people I'm missing? Is there Leslie? Um, without a box, without a oh. Sarah. Leslie. Oh, Sarah? Sarah's here. Hello. Oh, hello, Sarah. No. No. <laughs> Are you, you, you want, uh, did you, did you get a sound? There you go. Who's, who was making that sound? That was Diana to Sarah. Go for it. And this sound is to you, Johanna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome, Sarah. Lovely to hear your voice and lovely you made it to um, a Moving Fearlessly chat. Thank you. So nice to have you. Okay. So thanks, Deb. We're going to um, move into to the session and uh, I'm going to introduce the wonderful Iz, who is our presenter in this session. And I met, I've met Iz many years ago and is 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 <laughs> that does get a little bit confusing. Is is I am. <laughs> <laughs> she is. <laughs> um, is it has a, an amazing connection to nature that um, has always struck me and brings me into that connection whenever I'm with is to the the power of nature the beauty of nature, the abundance of nature, but but also the sounds and the rhythms of nature because Iz's work um, uh, that I have experienced is in sound, in both music making and in theatre. I've seen Iz make wonderful music with playback theatre and also um, through uh, facilitating amazing sound journeys. Uh, and if you look at... Um, I don't know if you read uh, a little bit about is she has worked for many years in the self-development realm, exploring that and has a lot of richness to draw on. She's a healer. She's a presenter. She's a facilitator. She's a guide. And she's, it's wonderful to have you is here in this forum on, on making sound in this new modality. We find ourselves zoom where of course sound can be tricky. So welcome, Iz. Thank you. It's beautiful to be with you. Mm. Mm. Just a pleasure to spend this time with, with you this morning and to connect from the mountains and from the mist. Um, yes, I love nature because I think that our connection with it is probably the most important aspect of our being. And uh, it feels so important nowadays to connect more and more with what nature is bringing to us, which is very, very audible and very inaudible and subtle sounds at once. So there are lots of things that I would like to tell you about 
this morning. Uh, I would love to speak to you about this cosmic sound, for instance, which created everything we can see and hear and sense and experience. And um, which also is the origin of all the music in the world. All the world music comes initially from this very amazing harmonic series that you can see everywhere in nature. But I would prefer us to somehow experience that through meditation that we're going to do in a moment. So I'll, I'll try not to speak too much and uh, we'll try to go as quickly as we can in the experience itself. So this morning, I'd like to take you through a process. What, what is this process? Um, what if we could just get rid of all the old programs which are actually draining your system, like a computer? You know, because at some level, we all know that we, and we can experience it, we are just magnificent beings able to connect with everything around us, sometimes a bit too much, sometimes not enough, but ultimately, we can do that. But at some other level, we just a set of programs and uh, conditioning and things that we've learned very early and um, that we believed were true. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't allow us to see things or people as clearly as they are or just as they are. So this morning, we're just going to see if we can allow some of these beliefs, some of these ideas to just evaporate from our system. That seems like a big thing to ask for that, but I'm just going to ask you to believe this morning that when we allow it, some of these programs can just evaporate from our system. Just because we ask them to, just because we are ready to let them go, and maybe just because we believe that we can do just that, letting them go. But at the same time, I just want to invite you to let go only what you're ready to let go of, something which is something you can integrate easily, you know, in the coming weeks. So we're not going to do more than what each of us wants to do this morning. So this process is going to use a tool that I love, which is called the Taoist Bagua. And some of you may know it if you know a bit about Feng Shui. Um, and I'll show it to you in, in a moment. I'm going to invite you to choose three areas of your life in this Bagua. And then I will invite you in each of these area to choose to just allow one belief to emerge. And you know, if you find one belief only this morning, that's, that's okay. If you want to work with three or two, you just see what comes for you this morning and what you, you'll be happy to work with. But I'd just like to invite you first to, for a minute, to put your hand, your preferred hand, or maybe both your hand on your heart to close your eyes just to connect with how you're feeling right now and just as you're connecting with yourself and with your breath I invite each of you to say silently if it sits with you I will take in from this process only that which is beneficial to me and that I can integrate with ease and grace in the coming weeks. I will take in from this process only that which is beneficial to me and that I can integrate with ease and grace in the coming weeks. And just sensing your heart responding to that. And then you can just rest your hand and open your eyes when you're ready.
we live in a time which is full of contrast and I mean between climate change, all the news in the world, there is very there are very strong forces at play at the moment and they seem to be reaching a type of climax. So in the Taoist Bagua that I'm going to show you and share with you now, everyone can see it. Okay. This is quite a complex and complete system and there are just some elements um, written here. And it relates to archetypes, body parts, spiritual virtues, direction, sounds, um, emotions, a lot of different aspects, but we won't be able to speak about them this morning because obviously they're the object of longer weekend workshops. But we will connect with it in another way. And this is a tool that we usually work to explore our inner house. So some are using it to work with the outer house, but the outer house is just a reflection of our inner house. The Bagua is made of eight elements, as you can see around the wheel, within the center, the Tai Chi, the hub. The strong energy of all time could be represented by this energy that I'm circling, which is the thunder energy. And the thunder energy is strongly related to the family and traditions. And in other words, you know, it's strongly linked to the beliefs we've learned and accepted as true. Until often life through strong events uh, force us to look at these events in a different way. And from my perspective, that's what is happening at the moment. And ultimately, when thunder has passed, we can enter a new place, a new phase with more awareness and understanding, more love towards ourselves and also towards others. And to give you an example, I guess, I mean, we all know thunder, but this principle can also be expressed by two pendulums. If you put them next to each other and they have a different rhythm, eventually these two rhythms are going to align. They eventually harmonize to a third rhythm. And this is this process that I invite you to go deeper in now. But first, again, I'm going to invite you to put your preferred hand, or once again, both your hands, on your chest, on your heart. Love, I was told during a meditation recently, is the frequency of life in our heart. The heart relates to the fire energy. It's a great transformer. It's the clear seer. So closing your eyes, if you're comfortable with that, for one more minute. I'd just like to invite you to recall a moment, an image. Something which for you is the expression of love. And as you're doing that, please feel free to write it in the chat as it comes to you. And we'll hopefully share this expression of love at the end. So feel free to, to write down, if you wish, what came to you.
Okay. Maybe some of you are still writing. But for those who are ready to do that, I'm going to invite you to take one minute to look at this bagua, just to take it as a whole, and choose three areas which are jumping at you. And you know you could choose it's three areas, it's three areas of your life, obviously, but you could choose also three colors just because you're attracted by the colors and then check which area of life they represent. And then I invite you to write them down. Leaving maybe a little space under each area for the next part we're going to go into. And um, just allow yourself not even to think about it. Just take the three first areas which are calling you. Okay. And once you've done that, I'm going to invite you again to go over each of this area and in each area to allow a belief that you've been holding, maybe for a long time, maybe not for a long time, to emerge. And that's going to be the beliefs we are going to work with. So just allow them to emerge as they want to emerge. And once again, do not think about it. Just to give you an example, when I sat with the family area, one of my beliefs was that I would always feel alone. That shocked me, but that's what came. <laughs> and then looking at the life path, the life path area, one belief was, I will never crack the code of life. So just allow naturally what comes for you with each area to come, and I'll give you really one minute for each. As it is not about thinking, just about allowing this to emerge. And if you find only one belief, ultimately that's okay. Every one of you has at least one belief. All good? Okay. So I will just invite you to find a comfortable position. 
because we're going to enter the meditation. And I really invite you, if you can, to find a position with your feet on the ground. So some of you may have felt that they could lie down or, but ideally, I would really invite you to find a position which is relaxed at the same time, alert, and with your feet on the ground. And then I'm going to invite you, once you've found this position, and if you're comfortable with that, to close your eyes. And to start focusing on your breathing. And when I say focusing, I'm just inviting you to allow yourself to observe your breathing. To observe the air coming in and out. And at the same time as you're just observing your breathing, I'm going to invite you to create a magic box on your left, energetic box. And this box is going to welcome all the thoughts which maybe don't look like they're going to assist your process. They're just going to be floating around the busyness. This magic box is going to attract them. You're going to deal with, clear, solve all the thoughts which are in the way. You'll be able to pick some of them, the ones you need, obviously, very fresh and clear at the end of this session. So then I just invite you to come back to your breathing. I invite you to ask your body to take the next three breaths for you. Just ask your body to take as much air as it needs and to release as much air as it needs to release. And as you're doing that, I'm going to invite you with your next inner breath, next time you're breathing in, to see an energy coming from your feet to the top of your head as you're breathing in. And as you're breathing out, this energy is coming down from the top of your head to your feet. And some of you may sense that. Some of you may just know that it's happening. So every time you're breathing in, you're breathing from your feet to the top of your head. Every time you're breathing out, you're breathing from the top of your head down to your feet. And just allow the next three breaths to help you settle in this first wave. Really allowing your body to take the breaths it needs. And as you're becoming aware of this wave, I'm going to invite you again to put your preferred hand or your two hands on your heart and to recall the beliefs that you wrote down on your piece of paper. And if you don't remember all of them, if you wrote several, do not worry. It's just because 
the ones which are with you now are the ones you are working with this morning. And I'm going to invite you next to speak out loud the first belief or one of the beliefs you wrote at the same time as you're connecting to your body to see what parts of your body is resonating to these words. And here we're going beyond our story, just directly to the root of these beliefs in our bodies. So just allow yourself to do that when you're ready. Just speak out loud your belief and connect to your body, just to see which parts of your body is responding to this first belief. You may want to put your hands on the parts of the body responding. And at the same time as you're doing that, still connect to your breath, being aware of your breath, going up from the feet to the top of your head, the outer breath going down from the top of your head to your feet. And I'm going to invite you to go now to your second beliefs, if you have a second one. And just allowing, once again, allowing yourself to speak out loud this second belief. And in the same way as you did it before, connecting with the parts of your body which are resonating to this belief. You can do that now. And again, just come back to your breathing, becoming aware at the same time as you may connect to these parts of your body and possibly to some emotions. Just come back to this breath, breathing in from your feet to the top of your head, breathing out from the top of your head to your feet. And I'm going to invite you to say your first belief, if you have a third one, and if you don't, just connect with your breath now. Keep on focusing on this breathing in, breathing out. If you have a third belief, just speak it out loud now and connect to the parts of your body responding to these words. I invite you again, at the same time as you're experiencing these different parts of your body responding to these words, to connect to your breathing. Now that you're connected, that now that you said to all these parts of your body that you know that they are present with you, that you're ac acknowledging all of them, you're seeing them, you're sensing them. I'm going to invite you to come back to your breathing and just to allow your hands to relax. Just come back to this breathing every time you're breathing in, you're breathing from your feet to the top of your head. Every time you're breathing out, you're breathing from the top of your head to your feet. And with the next breath, Next time you're breathing out, I'm going to invite you to go deeper than your feet into the earth, into Gaia. Just allowing 
yourself to breathe out to your feet and then down, down into the earth. As far as you can go. When you're breathing in, you're breathing back up to the top of your head. And next time you're breathing out, allow yourself to go deeper, to reach the core of Gaia. Go deeper and deeper to reach the heart of the mother. As you're breathing out, you're going deep into the heart of the mother. When you're breathing in, you're breathing in back up to the top of your head. And as you're breathing out, down, down to the heart of the mother, you start discharging, allowing the excess charge that you accumulated to be earthed, to go deep, deep into the earth. The next time you're breathing in, you find yourself breathing from the center of Gaia up to the top of your head and going further up to our galactic sun. And you don't know, you don't need to know where the galactic sun is now or sun. Just picture it above you, high above you. In such a way that when you're breathing in, you're breathing now from the center of the earth to your feet, up to your head, directly up to the sun. When you're breathing out, you're coming back from the sun down through your body, down, down, down into the earth. Next time you're breathing in from the center of the earth, I'm inviting you to go even further beyond our sun to the point of creation, the great central sun. You don't need to know where it is, but it's further up, further than our sun. The point of creation from where everything emerged and emerged. Just allow this to happen. As you're breathing in, you're breathing from the center of the earth, up, up, to the point of creation, far above. And when you're breathing out, you're breathing from this point of creation, down to the top of your head, down to your feet, down into the earth. And just allow yourself to connect with this great wave with the next three breaths. And as you're connecting to this great wave, I'm going to invite you to make a decision about these beliefs that you unearthed and invite you to release some of them or all of them. And you could tell yourself, I'm releasing the beliefs which have served me until now, but will not assist me in this next phase of my life, of life. And I release them in such a way that I can integrate this release with ease and grace in the coming weeks.
And as you're doing that, as you're making this decision, just allow these beliefs, these frequencies to align, to tune to this great wave, to come back in alignment with it. And I invite you to, as you're doing that, to place again your hand or your hands on your heart. And as you're breathing in from the center of the mother, from the center of Gaia, up to the point of creation, the great womb, Breathing out from this point of creation down into the earth. I invite you to see and feel your heart getting brighter and brighter, expanding, tuning more and more to this great wave, this great sound. in such a way that the energy of your heart is now enveloping your whole being. Enveloping your whole being, nurturing, saturating every cell of your physical body, every aspect of your whole being with love the frequency of life. And as you're sensing that, the energy of your heart getting brighter and brighter and stronger and stronger, and as you're feeling this energy, feeling every aspect saturating every aspect of your whole being. I also invite you to become aware of all these beautiful beings, women, sitting with you this morning. Just see them, imagine them in a, an energetic circle, even more real, than anything we can see. And you may not know all of them, and it doesn't matter. You know them at some levels. Just sense, become aware of this circle, energetic circle. And as you're becoming aware of this energetic circle, sense how the energy in our hearts has now got so expanded that they all meet, creating a big circle, a big heart for this whole circle. A beautiful energy of love, and some of you may see even colors, or just sense the energy some of you can maybe hear it. We all have our own ways to connect with our senses. And as we're connecting with this heart, this big heart, this common heart, I'm going to invite us as a circle, as we're breathing in and out, to send some ripples around us. So as we're breathing in, we're actually strengthening this energy, this love. And as we're breathing out, this energy is expanding around us, around our circle, going as far as it can, nurturing everything and everyone in its way. And you may even want to add a focus to this, 
some people you know, an area of the earth that you know, beings that you want to send energy to, visible or invisible. Just allow yourself to do just that because they will receive this frequency, this love, this energy. Just allow yourself to do that with your next three breaths as a group. Let's just send this wave away. And then it will come back and we can send it away again. Yes. Thank you. As you're becoming more and more attuned to this great wave, to this love. I just want to extend gratitude to all of you for being in this circle this morning. And you may want energetically to turn towards all the women around the circle in your mind's eye and just smile to them, send some energy to each, each one. And once you've done that, I just invite you to thank yourself for what you've accomplished this morning, not only for you, but for everyone. And I just invite you to progressively focus again on your breathing. And gently at your own pace, Bringing back your attention when you're breathing in to this energy which is coming from the center of the earth back to your feet. And as you're breathing out, this energy is coming from the point of creation back to the top of your head in such a way that you're now breathing in from your feet to your head breathing out from the top of your head to your feet. Just gently allow that to happen. You're still connected to the great wave and yet your focus, your attention is on this aspect of you. Just breathing in from your feet to the top of your head, breathing out from the top of your head to your feet. And as you're doing that, you may want to start gently to move your fingers and your feet, just allowing yourself to stretch at your pace. And also, just allow any sound which comes from you too just come out of you. And just take all the time you need to really move your body in the way you need to move it and open your eyes when you're ready, only when you're ready. And as you're progressively coming back to this visible part of our existence, I just like to invite you to 
say one word if Debra or you can unmute you. One word about the way you are feeling right now. Or maybe you can unmute yourself as you as you're giving us this word. Popcorn style. I learned this this word yesterday yesterday. Pop popcorn style. I, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Surprised. Mm. Freedom. I feel free. Mm. Possibility. Mm. Oneness. Love. Yeah. Almost the same time I say that, I feel tears. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm aware we're very close to the time that usually you give yourself. I'm just wondering, uh, and I'll just check with Debron and, and you, if we could um, share this image that mm -hmm. we connected with at the beginning, which is the expression of love mm -hmm. for each of us. And um, I mean, maybe you don't all want to share that, but those who would like to, I really invite you to do that, just to share this image with us of the expression of love for you. Is that possible, you and Deborah, yeah. in terms of time? Yeah. Yeah, let's hear from Certainly. a couple of people. Or anything that you might want to share at this point. Um, I'll go. Um, I love is how I've never done a meditation like this before, how you made us feel like you made us feel the universe, like somehow it was incredible. Um, you know, th with the breathing and everything and then how you brought it connected us with each other even though we're over zoom and then brought it back in i thought that was amazing i don't know how you did that but i thought that was awesome yeah. just need to answer that very quickly i didn't do anything what you experienced is you hmm. and i'm, I'm very, for very helping. serious about that <laughs> yeah yeah, you experience yeah. Anything mm -hmm. other than yourself. <laughs> thank you thank you mm -hmm. Something that's with me is, and everybody, is because I know we're recording this, I know I'm going to do it again. <laughs> you know, like one time when I'm relaxed in a different position, want to want to go, because out of my beliefs there was one that was really strong and I was like, okay, I'm just going to stay with you. You're the one for today. And, you know, like give it a month or a week or whatever, there might be another one that bubbles up. You know, so I already have that in me of like, this is something to return to, you know, mm. to return to this work because when my belief was able to release, it's like I not only felt freedom but I felt like this, I just wanted to smile. Mm. I just wanted to smile a lot and I, and I did, you know, and so I think that's a little bit addictive. You're just like, I want to of that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, reclaiming love is very addictive indeed, and I really <laughs> yeah, 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 invite you to do it as much as you can. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm all for it. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. I know it's not always easy to speak after mm. such a process. Sometimes you just feel like you want to stay where mm. you are. Mm. I just invite you, if you haven't shared with words, to um, really ground you yourself and use a bit of walking after the session to feel yourself into your feet mm. and just allow your body to move the way it needs to move. Mm. 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 That's important, isn't it? Because there's a transition, of course, from here, this quality of us connecting and meeting and meeting the world as well. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. And so to be aware of that, that transition the more you're able to actually allow this state to stay with you without being too disturbed by what is happening around. So I really invite you to remember that in the coming days and weeks, because mm -hmm. there is, you know, sometimes this last temptation, which is you actually released a belief. And the first thing you've shown is something which allows you to confirm your decision. Mm. It's like an old leaf coming from the bottom of the river yeah. showing itself to you and you can grab it again or you can let it go. So mm -hmm. I really invite you to remember what you decided to let go of mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. in such a way that you're very aware of this in the coming days. And when it appears, if it appears, it doesn't always do, but if it appears, you can then strengthen and confirm the decision you made mm. today, this morning. Mm. And you will remember these words when you need to remember them. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. So. Yeah, sorry. I'm just going to let everyone you, know that we're going to be sending out a replay of this. So if you do want to do it again like I will be, it will actually be absolutely be having an opportunity to do that. You will all receive that from me in the coming days. And you'll also receive information about how to connect with Is if you want to. So you may not have something to share right now, but in a day or two or a week's time, you may um, to, you know, stay connected mm. um, to the beautiful gift that you've given us Is. Thank you. Yes, and it's important, please. I'm, I'm, I'm available if ever after this session you feel that you you have a question or just feel free to connect with me because for some it may be a new process so yeah. i'll be available for that do you want to put um any contact or availability details into the chat please, in case there is somebody who wants to connect in a more immediate yeah because email from me will come in a couple of days mm. we, we have to get the video team to do things and blah 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 but yeah. Anyway, over to you, Yo, to end us. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Find our point of completion for this. Morning. Yes, let's. Um, yes, let's. And and so much appreciation is so much wisdom. So much, you know. I can just feel the 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 the. Oh, this so overused that journey, your experience, your deep richness of experience in this work of guiding us. And I know we went there, and I will say you, 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 you shone a torch. You helped us find that torch there, you know. And that's drawing on so much practice over the years and deep listening and being in this practice. So I want to acknowledge that and appreciate your generosity and being here with us and sharing from, from, from that richness. So thank you. A beautiful time with you. Thank you. We chased Thank is you. and we got her finally. <laughs> we want you. Can you? So, yeah, just, just, I just feel the richness of, uh, of your gift and um, spirit. So, thank you. So, we need to finish and I know it's late. So, if you need to go, no blame, no shame. Thank you for being with us. We're going to do a close for the rest of us if you can stay. If not, please, um, I apologies, uh, but it has been rich. And if you need to go, you leave now. And we'd love to see you again. We loved having you be in contact again uh, if you're willing and able. 
we'll have another chat next week. Um, and uh, see you, Jen. And um, for those of us, yeah, who can stay, we'll, we'll do it. We've got a particular close, a ritual around closing that we'll practice again. Big love. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, so, uh, yeah. So we're going to close by just seeing each other and acknowledging ex each other's presence in, in being here. So the way we do that is we, we hold our hand up, each of us, and just like we started in the beginning by calling out people's names, <clears throat> we'll do that. And this time we'll say, we'll call out someone and we'll acknowledge them for being here. I see you and thank you for being here. So I'll call out Claire Hewitt and say, Claire, I see you and thank you. I so appreciate your presence here with us again. Thank you, Johanna. I see you, Suze, and appreciate you being here with that beautiful background. It makes me feel totally grounded being here with you in this natural, connected meditated space and uh, yes and i'll just say then you put your hand down once you've someone's acknowledged you thank you i see you diana thank you for being here today i see you betsy thank you for your presence and your work Did you know you're to mute? Did you want to unmute yourself, Betsy, so we can hear your beautiful voice? Sorry, so sorry. <laughs> good, it's all okay. good. I'm blissed out. That was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just the last thing I expected to be today, really. Uh, so thank you for that gift and for all of you for being here. I'm sorry I wasn't on at the very beginning. I was having trouble signing into Eventbrite, but somehow I found the Zoom link. Thank you, Deborah, for that. And um, Deborah. <laughs> Mm. Thank you, Betsy. Beautiful to have you with us. I'm going to call on Tip. Hi, Tip. Mm. I'm so happy that you were with us. I see you and I appreciate you and I love you. Thank you, Deborah. Yo. <laughs> I see you. I hear you. I feel your love for the world and generosity and I thank you for introducing me to this group. Mm. Pleasure, Tiff, all the way. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to reach out and even though we can't see Sarah Ludowicz, I think she's still there. Are you there, Sarah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel you. I saw you in the circle Ease was introducing us to, and I turned to you and smiled, and you smiled back. I see you, and so thank and so appreciate you being here with us. Mm. Thank you. My heart feels a bit opened after this morning, which is wonderful. Um, Is I see you, and what comes to mind is the beautiful music I know you have in you from the past in performances. And I see your love and your centeredness and your hope for people. Mm. Thank you. And then as you get to see all of us and then that will be the close for our session this morning. Yes, well, I see. I see all of us and I got the immense privilege to sense <laughs> all of you. <laughs> So thank you, thank you so much for sitting with us this morning. That was really yes. a privilege and a gift for me. Mm. 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 Thank you, everyone. Thanks for being here. As I said, we're back here next week with a <clears throat> another chat. Um, Deb, I don't know if you want to say the title. Yeah, anyway, um, Anita's going to be talking to us about how she lives with anxiety mm. and what she does to help herself out, and we're going to be talking about the particular spikes of anxiety that come with 
you know, COVID pandemic 2020, hello. Yeah. And um, we've got some, yeah, there's going to be some delights mixed in yes. with mm. some experiences of anxiety. Yeah. And some time to be in the in the conversation. Yeah, rather important. Than- Great. So travel well, everyone. Stay with your heart, stay connected. Uh, I think that was important what Iz was saying, you know, when we, we go back out into the world, what we meet, to be mindful and present to that. Mm-hmm. So thanks again.